behind the scenes look at the system that we've created. Um, in a typical search, we'll start with uh, some patient details. In this situation, the gentleman is a 67-year-old uh, who is healthy. Uh, and has prostate cancer. We'll get to that in a moment. The patient lives in the LA area, Los Angeles. And I think he's currently at UCLA, but uh, we're looking around. And as I mentioned, he has prostate cancer. Okay. Uh, he's being newly diagnosed. So he has hormone sensitive prostate cancer at this point. Um, he is staged somewhere. He's just gotten an MRI, shows suspicious bone lesions, as well as um, his extension outside of the prostate potentially in the seminal, seminal vesicles. So he is, I'm going to give him a C3, a 3C or a four. And the Gleason score doesn't really count because it's not local, but his PSA is greater than 20. His most recent PSA was actually 64. Uh, and it has been rising. Now, um, again, we can leave this blank for the moment. Uh, he's currently not on any therapy, but presumably will be treated with androgen blockade. Uh, he the um, it's suspected that his the, that there's lesions in the bones, and they said that his tumor is specified as T three B N zero. And again, suspicious for the seminal vesicles. Um, I, I don't think he's particularly symptomatic. And we'll record him as a solid tumor, advanced and metastatic. He's not having uh, um, relapsed. And he certainly has measurable disease as well as a valuable. Uh, most likely, you know, even though some of the tumor can be resected, not all of it can. I'm going to leave that blank for a moment. He has not had progression at this point. And he has no um, spinal mess. Noah, and he has not had any prior systemic treatment, surgery, he's not had radiation, and really he is pre-diagnosis, we're looking for the neoadjuvant would be if it was going to be um, resected, but likely with it being metastatic, we'll say first line and definitive. That off for a moment. And he has not received all standard therapies, but he's willing to do something. So we then run the search. And we get 151 matching therapies. One thing I realized I neglected to do is I did put in his home, uh, but we can probably look for. Um, trials nearby first. So let's look in California. And I get 35 matches. Now, one thing is that um, because this is a pretty specific situation, I'm going to actually look for the lines of therapy that do not include non-specified results. How exactly happens to either of them? Oh, we get down to 10, right? Now let's take a look at the map to see where these are. And so I think this is a pretty 
fair area to look at. Um, at first, we just take a look at this one to see if it's at all interesting. Um, probably not for him, his green tea. I think he's going to be looking for something a little bit more major. So what we're going to do is put this here. At all. Yeah, okay, great. And so I've got seven now. And I can go back to the list. And basically, there's seven. And take a look. And here are some, and he mentioned he's going to be getting a PSMA scan. Um, this actually might happen because this is being offered at UCLA. Um, I don't think he's had a negative or an inclusive biopsy. This one doesn't really fit him. Here's docetaxel and androgen deprivation. And this is with DNA damage repair defects or inflamed tumors. So this would be a question for him if, um, and this is the one with this DDR gene, or PDL1. And so we can we can ask him to see if that can be done on any biopsy that is performed. This is a PARP inhibitor with radiation and androgen in high risk prostate cancer. Okay, that all looks fairly reasonable. Again, would be interesting to see if he has a BRCA mutation or other mutation that would make PARP inhibitors sort of more useful, but it sounds like this is a trial that's going on regardless of that. And it is a randomized trial, so it may be randomized to the non-interventional uh, non arm, probably without the neuroparin. Uh, but that being said, it's, it's located quite close by, it's either Sinai, so we can tell them about that. Uh, this is a, a pretty high-powered uh, trial using several types of immunotherapy combined with a, um, a targeted therapy. And that's going on at USC. And this one is also going on at USC. This is the second trial, and we look for usually multiple trials. See actually any any um intervention here for this trial. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take that one off the list. Uh, this is a MRI for detection and monitoring. Use the San Diego, probably not worth going all the way to San Diego for that. Um, but this one is interesting. This is another PARP inhibitor. Um, and this is a city of hope with the androgen deprivation therapy. That's possible. Okay, so I have, you know, about four selected, which is not a bad number to start with. But I think this is a pretty good example of the way we can do our searches. There's other ways we can do our searches uh, for patients who may not be as healthy as this gentleman or patients who uh, have and other various requirements, patients who have, for example, a um, next-gen sequencing test, we can dive into the genes that are listed there and take a look at across the United States for any trials that are involving that gene, either to get on the trial or for ideas on how to treat along the lines of those genetic alterations in the cancer. And so for that, you can take a look at some of my other uh, videos and uh, I will look forward to speaking to you soon.